That'll do. Are you calling me a pig? <laughs> I'm calling you babe. I'm not not calling you a pig. All right, we're going to get started with the movie category. Counselor John will be read to by me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you get Don't to... fucking wait, wag your finger at me. Uh, g- Garcon, <laughs> I asked for barbecue sauce. <laughs> I asked for you to give us the order of people who's reading the book. Okay, all right. Such. This week, just to mix things up, I'm going to read to Counselor Anthony, and Counselor Anthony will read to Counselor John, and then Counselor John will read back to me, Counselor Tone, in untypical fashion. I like it. It's mixing it up. Atypical fashion? Whatever. We're going to get started <laughs> with the movie category, Counselor Iggy Iggy Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> what movie about a weekend-long reunion of college friends, now in their 30s, starred Glenn Close, Kevin Klein, among others. Four weddings and a funeral. That, sir, is incorrect. It was The Big Chill. I am not even remotely familiar with that movie or the career of Glenn Close, so. Except for 101 Dalmatians. (laughs) 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 Counselor John. Jiggity, 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 (laughs) jiggity. Thank you. That's fucking right. Jiggity John. What Tom Hanks comedy was the first film directed by a woman to gross over a hundred mil? What the fuck is that movie called? What the fuck is that movie called? A League of Her Own? Is it big? Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Aww. Shimmy, shimmy, rock. It is big. Directed by Penny Marshall. It was her second film as a director. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Come on, man. Come on, man. It was big. It was big, man. <laughs> this order makes you feel icky. All right. <laughs> well, sorry, I don't mean to make you feel icky, you grown man. <laughs> we had a we had a human centipede, like a perfect human centipede situation set up, and now you're trying to make somebody else the I back the and somebody else the yeah. I was the head of that centipede. <laughs> no, it's cyclical. We're all shit in each other's mouths. It never ends. <laughs> it's centipede forever. <laughs> Fuck the full sequence. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, can we go? Yeah. Counselor Tone. What Kurt Russell cult classic has been described by its director as an action adventure comedy kung fu ghost story monster movie? Oh my gosh. Oh man, Kurt Russell. That's gonna be Escape from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> I feel like that's cheating because you basically combine two movies. But yes, it is Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> no, he was uh, he was combining Big, the movie we just talked about, <laughs> with the movie Trouble in Little China. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> is it Big Trouble in Little China? Me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. That's why I said you should get it. What? That's what I said. That's <laughs> what. All right. And so I'll take. And so I'll take a deep breath and count. Take a breath. <laughs> take a breath. This is getting off the rails, guys. Okay, <sighs> viewers. We apologize. But they won't see half of this anyway. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to see some shit. You're going to see some shit. You're going to see stuff. some real shit. All right. So I'm taking that early lead as we move into TV. Counselor Anthony. I almost forgot the fucking order. <laughs> <laughs> what kids game show included obstacles like the Sunday slide and a giant booger filled nose called Picket? Is it Double Dare? It is Double Dare with Mark yeah, Summers. Yeah, physical challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so you had to like uh, slide down a giant tongue into a pie or something. Like, yeah. Yeah. You had to find flags and shit. Oh, okie dokie, Counselor John. What show was centered on a woman named Mrs. Garrett and the students at an all-girl boarding school, including Natalie, Tootie, and Blair? I'm gonna say it's Facts of Life. That is correct. Ooh, lucky guess. I said I knew. I know the characters. I've seen the show. It's just I didn't know if it was Facts of Life. Or, oh, or... Tootie. Yeah. <laughs> so, hoping I can throw you off. But yeah, it's the Facts of Life. The hit show <clears throat> began as a spinoff of Different Strokes mm. for different folks. <laughs> Counselor, tiggity, 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 tone. <laughs> That's fucking how you do it, bro. But get your own thing. <laughs> <laughs> According to its theme song, on what show might the characters? Solve a mystery or rewrite history? I don't, I don't know. Captain Planet? The answer is DuckTales. Woo! Yeah. Let's solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales. Woo! Damn it! 
Damn. Remember that Magic Lamp movie they had? Yeah. I used to watch the mm-hmm. fuck out of that. Yeah, I used to love the shit out of DuckTales. Ooh. And Darkwing Duck. Ooh, and Darkwing trouble, Duck! You go, DW. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, before this gets crazy. Dangerous. Hey, remember all the shows? Let's sing all their themes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Copyright claims <laughs> left and right. We are all tied up as we move into music. Counselor Anthony, what comic book-esque sound effect is also the name of the British pop duo formed by George Michael and Andrew Wrigley? Ridge, Ridgely. Whatever. Is it Aha? Uh-huh? Oh, it's Wham! Wham. Mm, yeah, I was like, it's one, it's either it's either aha or wham, and I didn't know which one. We're on the whatever things category. Yeah, <laughs> John, in the music category, when Billy Ocean asks you to get out of his dreams, where does he want you to go? <laughs> he wants you to get into his car. Ooh, actually, it's his butt. Ho- no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Into His Car, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car was a 1988 hit for Ocean. Counselor Tone, in your music question, what poison power ballad contains lyrics about flowers, cowboys, and nighttime? Cherry pie. Ooh, it's every rose has its Mm. thorn. That makes more (laughs) more sense. Is that a poison song, the cherry pie song? No, that's a uh, warrant, I believe. Ah, whatever. Okay, John is pulling into the lead as we move into famous people and events. Counselor Anthony, what actor and bodybuilder won the Mr. Olympia title for the seventh time in 1980? Maybe I'll give you a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll break your arm. <laughs> um, is it Arnold Schwarzenegger? That is correct. <laughs> All right. Sweet. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Push too many pencils. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> what does he say? What the, the hell is broccoli anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink milk. I drink beer. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get off of my terrible impressions and into my car. <laughs> Counselor John, what nickname was given to the group of young actors in the 1980s that included Emilio? Estevez and Rob Lowe. Is that going to be the Brat Pack? You got it, the Brat Pack. You got it. You yeah. got it, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Counselor Tone, what actress and model appeared on the cover of Vogue in 1980 when she was 14 years old, the youngest Vogue cover model ever at the time? Is that Liga? Mm, Drew Barrymore? It's Brooke Shields. Mm. John still in the lead, trying to get that three P as we move into trends, tech, and fun. Counselor Anthony, what ball made out of thin rubber fibers was once described as a cross between a porcupine and a bowl of jello? Is it a it, a koosh? A koosh ball or something like that? They're called like koosh balls or something? Mm. Is that your I, answer? I guess. I don't know what that's they're That's correct, actually. yeah. Koosh? Nice. Yeah, nice the old nice, koosh. Nice, nice. I'm really, really, really hoping you don't get this one. Counselor John. Sweetheart. In the trends, tech, and other things category, <laughs> which product uses micro encapsulation technology? Nerf balls, pop rocks, or scratch and sniff stickers? I'm going to say Nerf Balls. I'm going to say Scratch and Sniff. If I had to get it, it is Scratch and Sniff Stickers. The process traps aromatic chemicals in tiny spheres that when crack, that when scratch, <laughs> release a scent. That one crack. Oh. I don't think That's I would have gotten, I would have guessed Nerf also, I yeah. think. Counselor Tone. Oh, my what, what chemical are jean jackets washed in to create the acid washed look? Chlorine, bromine, or hydrogen peroxide? Chlorine. It is chlorine. Yes. This is a tight game. Wow. Yes. Dude, your crown's on the line. How are you feel it? It's Stranger Things. I was going to say, we're, pretty good. we're moving into Stranger Things round, which... You are in my are, house now. <laughs> which I think is either going to mean... This it's... cards are your house. What do you mean? <laughs> you have a two-peak streak for the second time this summer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, last category. See if John can get that three-peat in the Stranger Things category. <clears throat> Besides science teacher, what other school role does Mr. Clark play? Chess club advisor, D&D club advisor, or AV club advisor? Is he the AV club advisor? That is correct. Yes. Nice. So that puts you at four. Four? Oh, so you got to get this. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. In a turn of events, the category is Buffy the Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> the category is what did I have for dinner last night? <laughs> it was Carl's Jr. Counselor John, what camouflage patterned accessory does Lucas often wear? It's a headband or a bandana. Correct, it is a bandana. Counselor Tone, what color is Joyce's car? Yellow. It is green. I was going to say green, but I didn't. It's pea green to be exact, according to the card. Well, that puts us into a two-way tie between Counselor John and Counselor Anthony. So, I will read the tiebreaker question per usual. You cannot answer until I finish, and I will let you know when I finish. Capiche? Capiche. Capiche. All right. This is the Stranger Things question, and it is... What is Nancy and Mike's last name? Wheeler. <laughs> well, neither of you followed the fucking instructions. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I could tell. I was like, I could feel the, that he was going to say it at the exact same time. I was like, I got to do it. I so mean, that was too close to call out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Fill in the blank for this second tiebreaker question. <laughs> Fill in the blank for this next question. Episode five of season one is titled... The flea and the blank. Done. Is it the flea and the string? Is that an official guess? Yes. It is not. That is incorrect. The flea and the cat. Acrobat. Mm. Oh, I did remember that was a weird title. Yeah. Okay. Instead of pulling another card, I think that you guys will enjoy this one. So I'm going to... Go to the trends, tech, and fun category, and it kind of fits with our later theme for one of our movies. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the question is: Remember, wait till I say done. Bounty hunter Samus Aran, who was on a mission to defeat Mother Brain, was revealed to be a woman after the player beat what video game? Done. Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what what are we doing? Because this is going on for two hours. <laughs> Knife fight. I sa- I've said it so many times already. Okay, we're going to go to another tiebreaker question. <laughs> and I'll try the Stranger Things category again. Which character said, nobody normal ever accomplished anything meaningful in this world? Was it Mike, Max, or Jonathan? Done. Jonathan? Yes. Um, that was probably the most intense game of trivia we've had in a really long time. Yeah, I'm a yeah. little, I'm a little sweaty. All right, so Anthony, Counselor Anthony, I should say, is officially the winner this week, breaking John's peak streak for the second time and leaving me with a big zero for a long peak streak. I guess <laughs> it's been a while since I've even come close to winning. But that is going to be the end of our trivia video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, we have. All of our other trivia videos that we've done so far this year on YouTube in a playlist that this one will also be attached to. And if you're feeling frisky, you can check out the rest of our full-length episodes and get the actual discussions that go along with these. Yeah, so if you want to make sure that you are keeping up with all of our trivia, I've been trying to keep track of who the hell is like in the lead lead with the most points. So if you want to keep track of this and let us know, that would be great. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button on this channel so you can see everything John was talking about. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when we post new stuff. And if you're feeling squirrely, hop on over to our social media. Um, Check out everything that we have going on on Instagram and Twitter. Our full podcast is available wherever you listen to podcasts. So Apple, Spotify, and all that good stuff. But yeah, thanks for checking us out. We'll see you guys next week with another super exciting totally 80s Stranger Things trivia video. Thank you for watching. Keep it creepy or keep it campy. Keep it campy.